desert species of North Africa. And at one time they were found all throughout the Sahara region. But now their range is really restricted to small areas of Niger and Cat. It's estimated that they're only about 250 left in the wild. That's but amazing. here in zoos in North America, we have several thousand. So well, we have a good nice. breeding population here. And hopefully if things do well in the area of Settle Town, they can be reintroduced to the wild. Now the group that we have out here is uh, females and a couple of young males. Uh, we don't keep our breeding male out here. For most of our angel species, we don't keep breeding males out here because they get too aggressive, too territorial. So when it comes time for breeding, we'll take the females out to the male pen for a little while and then they come back here and hopefully give birth here in the belt area. That's neat. Now ADAX are incredibly well adapted for living in the desert and they can actually survive their entire lives never drinking from any standing water. They get all the moisture they need from the succulent plants they're eating or the the leaves in the morning. And we're talking 10 to 20 year lifespan. They have nice long horns to defend themselves. Both the males and females are very protective of the herd and of the young animals. And with a nice two and a half, three foot long set of horns, it's pretty good deterrent for some of the small predators. <coughs> and they are incredibly athletic animals. You always see the videos of them in Africa running away from the predator, start jumping and bouncing over each other uh, to get away from the predator and get into the scrub and the brush. Um, those behaviors are used to actually confuse the predators. When a predator goes after a herd animal, they normally pick out one animal as the target. And as they start chasing it down, if they get distracted away from that target, most of the time they won't make a kill. And if you know lions, they only make one out of every five or six kills. So, I mean, it, it's really an effective way to uh, confuse predators, get them off of that uh, target animal. I saw that one time, and they were chasing the tigers, were chasing the little ones, and the giraffe tried to get in there. And it broke its leg, it drowned in like that much water, and now again it's been over. But that's the only reason I do that. That happens. Everything eats, and being a predator and being a prey can be very risky. So, you know, the impala use their, their jumping over each other to confuse predators. The beavers have their strength <coughs> to confuse predators. If you ever try to they don't have predators. An adult healthy giraffe is not going to be prey on the a giraffe huh, can kick out in any direction with its feet, and wow. those nice big hooks can be fatal to a lion. Wow. Oh, it's Betsy. Uh, left belly, she has a nice big flower on the left side. That's the big identifying feature. Yeah. Yeah. Notice what she's doing with her Hi, tongue. Hi, Betsy. Yeah. Giraffes yeah. spend a lot of time exercising and ranching to pull into the mouth and eating. Hey, Betsy. And they really work those muscles constantly. And she's working around a piece of grass or a leaf that's in her mouth, and she's just playing around with it, rolling hey, around in her mouth. Hey, Hello, <laughs> now, if the giraffe approaches the truck, we're going to get the opportunity to feed them. When we do, hey, Ray, you should go over. Right here, just let Ray go in the middle here. <laughs> Ray, turn around, Mommy, get your picture. Ray, turn. Come hey, on, get your picture. I can see how he uses that tongue to pull food into the mouth. They have no upper front teeth. So if your finger goes in there, your finger comes back out of still works. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's Why a good thing. Have any um, well, all of the uh, different antelope and the. Uh, uh, Turn around, honey. Mommy, get your The picture. gazelle, goats, sheep, Go cattle all have that same characteristic. The ruminant. <laughs> all the ruminant animals lack those front Just teeth. Now I'm going to give everybody a couple of leaves of browse. And a great way to get a photo, he's just playing with this here. I don't know if he's going to take a look. Let's see. I'm going to pass out some brows here. And if he stand, if he takes a little bit of cooperation to keep the middle of the truck open, so that way we have room for photos. And you can give them pieces one at a time. Ray, turn around so I can get your picture with him. Ray, Ray turn around. Ray, you got to turn this one. Okay. okay. If she comes over, it's nice to get a tall giraffe over here instead of a baby. Go turn around, Ray. So, Mommy, Ray, you got to turn this one. Uh, this one is about 12 feet tall. Ray, turn around so I can get your picture. And this is Dolly? Um, nope, this no. one is... Hold, hold up like that over your shoulder. <laughs> you can... Wow. Ray, you can pet her. Look at her. Pet his neck if you want, Ray. Turn around. Let him take her. That's beautiful. Oh, you can pet him. You can pet him, honey. Can you pet him on his neck? Yeah. I can't do it. Sneak around behind everybody here. Okay, turn around. Oh! <laughs> 
Balance, they can't lift up those front legs to try to stretch up. <laughs> now, the giraffe we have, the reticulated giraffe, uh, are actually the smallest of the giraffe species. They're actually seven different oh species, species of the giraffe. That means they can just drop it. And they're the smallest. So the adult Wait, male reticulated them. giraffe is usually only about 17, 18 feet tall. Here, go ahead. Uh, well, so she's about 1,500 pounds. Go ahead, Ray. The Maasai giraffe, which are the largest, the males can be between 18 and 20 feet tall. Look at that time. Good oh, job. Nice. And the males can be more than that. Good job, Ray. Our breeding male that left to go to the other zoo, the one that's 18 feet tall, he was just short of 3,000 pounds. The worst she does is slobber on you. <laughs> oh, come on. Nothing like it. That's mine. Good people giraffe slobber. <laughs> come on, Betsy. Work your way back. Where's the little one I was taking a picture of? They all went you off right, the shade back there. Hey, sweetie. Die. Here, you want to come in here? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, he got long tongue. Group out oh, here. Okay. Um, then they have free free browse of the trees, the grass. Not <laughs> 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 yeah. a piece of grass. They have one. I don't know where it is. Yeah, yeah, so you can see it. Go on. Here she comes. Hi, sweetie. I can't get Now, Betsy, does anybody ever watch the show? That's my baby. Animal Planet. Uh, her baby was born on that show. And Patini now is supposed to be. Even though it's a vegetable. Good, I got another. But she was a No, you take a appointment, babe. Betty has never produced enough milk to get the whole way. I wanted to take her picture. You let her take it. She's never produced enough milk to get the whole way. Sorry. 
Hey, Ray, you got a three. Go stay up, move back so I can get your picture with her. Turn around, Ray. Oh, that's Ray, Ray. Ray, Ray. Ray, Ray I can't see you. Turn around. I can't but see it, right? One giraffe out here. Stay there. Claudia, I gotta get your picture, right? Everybody's ear tag now. So Claudia was the only one with the tag. Because <laughs> here you go closer. She's not gonna hurt you, babe. She don't have any teeth. Come on, Ben. Isn't she pretty, Ray? Now, as long as we're not on the ground down in front of them, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> we don't walk on the ground with the draft because it's kind of difficult for them to see what's right below their feet. Oh, wait, 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 well, remember, you don't want to reach Here, up above their face, but like underneath. Like underneath oh. Oh. She doesn't seem to like that. That's right, Jacob. Turn around and just hold that in the air. That's just you small like berry it. leaves. Turn around so I can see it. No, face mom. you got to face me, though. There we go. I touched her. Touch her again. Oh, she's pretty. No, he's not going to do it. I'm trying hard. Every, you gotta go up front and then turn around across your back. Put it across your back, Ray. I'm standing on the doll. I tried to do that, remember? Ray, go ahead. <laughs> She's actually a wonderful animal, very gentle. Back up, there's good. That's good. Oh, don't do that. They're about as smart as horses. And they can run about as fast as a horse at about 35 miles. Yeah, I did. You know why? Because she was thinking. Good, Ray. Oops, you didn't give it to her. Ray, you handed it to her. He didn't hurt you. He's cute as a butt. Look at that. Hey, Ray. Keep your fingers right in her mouth and she's yeah, not doing it. Yeah, look at her. Look, honey. See? Ew! Ray! Ray. Yeah, like Aw, go ahead. It's just a tongue, Ray. That was, I don't think so. Well, we're going to move the truck forward. Oh, yeah. So I get one picture of Manuel. 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 No, we had nothing. Yeah. In the wild, of course, you wouldn't be, they wouldn't be sitting there eating the cantaloupe and the honeydew. But in the wild, as they migrate through the different grasslands, they feed on the wild squash, the wild melon, and that as a water source and a food source. Everybody gets something, and I'll get a leaf, it'll work with it. He can't get through the thing. Now, are a very docile antelope. Very easy going. And in Central Africa, they actually are trying to raise eland domestically like they do cattle. They are uh, able to use for the for the milk, for the meat, for the hide, just like cattle can. But they are uh, native to the area and they can subsist on the poorer vegetation that, and scrub plants that grow in the area. So they don't need to have as much grazing land as cattle do. A little bit easier on the environment. Oh, I like the draft. Oh, that was good. Aren't yeah, they pretty, Ray? Yeah, they're very docile. Very docile. <laughs> they're pretty. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Let me get a picture. Let me see. No, no, no. Now, if you reach your fingers way into the back of the mouth, that's where they've got huge grinding teeth. Hey, sweetie. No, not at all. <laughs> now the eels are the biggest. Okay, so what was your favorite part of your birthday so far, honey? Feeding the animals. Wow. And what animals did you feed, honey? I fed the giraffe and another one with the horns. Oh yeah, they were big, weren't they? Yeah. They were like buffalo with really long and horns. I'm, I'm only eight. Wow, big eight. That is great. Eight is great. Michael's ten. Michael's a big ten. That's right. He's a preteen now, huh? Mm -hmm. In two more years, you'll be a preteen, huh? <coughs> yes, indeed. This You're going to be a such a big girl. Birthday. Oh, it's a great birthday for a fun girl like you, huh, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I see the video now that you're shooting? Sure. I'm getting a great view of the Vistana here over the Serengeti Plain. birds and all the wild animals.
girl. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Come over here. Hey, look at you. That's right. It's sunny out here, huh? In the Serengeti plane. And you want to show up my sunglasses. Oh, I know, honey. Sunglasses. It's a great day for sunglasses. Yep, there they are. And you were feeding those guys over there, huh? Yeah. Neat. Can we that see is the just so now? cool. I see my guys. Wave to him. Wave. Whoa, hard to get him without him messing around there. Bounce around, Michael. Hey, do it. Hello. Oh, wouldn't you like that job? <coughs> What's so bad about this? Look at those over there. Look at that. Mommy, why did I say? Why would he say I would like to be him? Well, his daddy doesn't like us to work. Hmm? You know. They don't have to be huh? Yeah. Especially if you get to come outside like this. You mean you? Yeah, I think that's uh. That's not really. Yeah, this boss and trees are pretty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> 
<laughs> he opened his mouth and he said, he's like, what, you want me to go get it? Keeper throwing stuff in there. Yeah. No, that's a, no, that's a Jew keeper. A cob on the corn. Uh huh. <laughs> collect his trophies. Yeah. He's going to collect his food. Yeah. He looks kind of slow, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, you can go for it. You ready? He was ready cute, wasn't ready. he? Hello, Rhea. <laughs> hey, Mickey. Wow, man, that was some time. Hey, Mickey, you made it, buddy, huh? We're still bouncing. Wow, I could say. We're still bouncing, It's like being in an earthquake, huh? We're not even man, oh, bounce. man. Good. Yeah, Mickey was bouncing all over the place there, huh? You all right? All right again? Yeah. Hi, Smiley. <laughs> Thank you.
Because you need to bring a black feather to get around his neck. We discovered that this helps protect them against the harsh elements when they're flying to the high altitudes. All the time, all over the world, you want to know that all birds you see here today are hatched and raised in the caravan time. So no wild population. Happy birthday!